<laughs> last thing I'm going to do is in this product state, let's, uh, let's move this thing off to the side. So I don't want it to show up in this state. And let's turn on the problems. So now I've kind of got these three pages of my experience here. I should be able to look at it. The last thing I'm going to do now is I want to be able to hook up some of the interactions and say that well, when I click on this new button thing that I created, go to one of those states that I created. So I'm going to do this without writing any code. So I'll say on click on this thing, play a transition to the name, search by name is there. And I'm going to click on this one over here, let's say on click, let's go to the my products. So with that, I should be able to run our project now. I'm going to get a bigger mouse pad for the next time to use it. And we should be able to see now the beginnings of our interface here and the beginnings of the behavior. Remember, I can, can type in here, I've got this button that behaves the way I want. When I go over here, these, these glow as I, as I roll over them. When I go to the name state, that flip kind of feels the way that I want my interface to feel like. When I go to product, it moves out, and I have my products here. So, this is the beginnings of our UI. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this now. I'll save our project. Now it's saving my flex project. And it's saving to a single file here. All this is this FXP project. It is a full flex project just zipped up so that we have an easy handoff to our developer of Flex Builder. I'm going to show you how the new version of Flex Builder takes in this FXP project and it'll look just like a flex project when it comes in. So directory design, save it on the desktop here. I'll replace the old one that I was working on. And I'm now going to go into the next version of Flex Builder that we've codenamed Gumbo. And we'll open up this project and we'll extend it in Flex Builder. So I'm just going to add a keyframe here. 
maybe even the fire will kind of go up and down and die and kind of go like that. But it's between this information. So let's kind of test this out. It's subtle, but you get the point. And so I'm going to hit the done button, this new done button in Flash now. This is going to um, do two things. It's going to take the original source file for our Flash and it's going to uh, put it in our Flex project. And it's going to take that and make it a squick now in our project as well. So um, it must have did something to make that uh, FX grow and shrink a little bit. We now have this ex island of expressiveness as part of our project as well. We wrap the Flash Flex component kit around it so that you can programmatically work with any of the events that you wanted to expose in that Flash design. That Flash design can have cue points and trigger events in your uh, larger Flex.